Most folks don't know what happens to eyeballs in a fire. In the right kind of fire, they, uh, they can melt. Holy. All I could think about was how to, how to make it stop. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Oh, stab yourself in the eyes? But I mean, like, I can't see anything blind, right? Thing is, is I still see her. Oh, I can't see anything else. I see her. Your brain, Crispy guys. kid with the one of your guys. That's joking. That's why I'm here. Two months. Well, thanks, Gordon. I'm glad you're here. That's it? Give me a little more than that. Just poured his soul out. Would anyone like to take a newcomer chip? How about 30 days clean? 60? 90? Oh boy, oh boy, we could have a heck of a yard sale, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you are a big boy now. But you know, big boys, they know the difference between what's real and what's imaginary. Oh. So what do you say, champ? Poor kid. Kids' books are on the lower shelf, so even a little boy with a wheelchair can reach his feet. That is freaked out. Wow, that got really specific. Seriously, right? Is that concerning? Body swinging back and forth right there. Yeah, I'll get to it. She is jarringly attractive, by the way. I've been on the street since I was 13. There aren't enough pages in that notebook for all my shit. I never know how far back to go. Like, this do I cover? Sh shitty contest? Hey. You okay? Yeah. Something's bothering you tonight. Clearly. S spit it up. She seemed to believe in you. Tons, actually. Yeah, well, <clears throat> that's a twin thing. 10 o'clock, Joy. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you poor bastard. Oh. There were some rocks in the garden, pretty ones. Abigail showed me one in. Oh, there you go. What? You're scared. No, I'm not. I can tell. How? The twin thing. So. I'm scared. Aww. Yes, you should be. What the fuck? Props to you for going up here. I would not. What the hell? Oh, Lord. One of the biggest issues that can sometimes happen, and just sometimes, and I'm not saying this about you, Luke. Clearly. And you lean too hard on another addict? Oh, shit. We didn't all end up in here because we're so reliable. This is a wild thing to say. Wild. Wild. Fuck her. Fucking camp counselor. What to say? Hi, this is Nell. Please leave a message after the beep. Hey, hey, it's, uh, it's me. Fucking hat. Oh, shit. Fuck. That was actually kind of smooth. Oh, Lord! Why are you coming in here? Oh, the fuck. Oh, shit! Oh shit! I thought he just wanted his fucking hat back. God damn it! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, there she is. How'd you know where to find? I know her spots. Oh, jeez. It's okay. Your best bet is gonna be a shelter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bet you did it to yourself. Oh my god, I hate Tom's guts. Unfortunately, I think she's just a fucking bureaucrat. I knew the rules when I left. Yeah, I guess. I can get you a motel. Do you have money? Is that why you steal some thieves? No, I'll, I'll get some, okay? She's just gonna use it to cop. Then we're gonna find a new place. I promise. This is gonna end horrifically. I don't wanna see this shit. I just get as much as the way. What the fuck? Why? Why? I would really rather not get into that. Fair enough. I'm clean. Um, 90 days, like, like yeah. I said. Is that, that's great. Uh. Oh. Oh, 
for some folks in there, their connection is their mom. Mm -hmm. Truly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> laughing is so weird. All of it. This is so awesome. You guys got it all, man. Where do you go from here? Nothing left to do except maybe fill this place up with some kids, I guess. This feels so weird. This is appropriately awkward if that's what they're going for. In a sense, I guess you could say it looks like the same thing over and over again, but that's not insanity. Out there on the streets, that's insanity. Of course. Go ahead. Doesn't mean you stop just because it gets a little repetitive. One day at a time. I love you. She's articulate, she's funny. Yeah. Disarming, you might say. Holy shit. Holy shit! And she talked me through it, she wrote it out with me. Wow. Awesome. Fuck, Steve. Steve's the worst. Influence. Just because someone's a good person, just because you care about them, doesn't mean they won't burn you. Jesus! He's gonna burn you again, too. Though not for the reason you think. <sighs> yeah. Yeah! Oy. seen this already it's still just as awkward except this time i care about luke well, you, uh, this isn't what it looks like um, it actually wasn't it should be enough for a night maybe two and some food so the face well is she about to reject him please don't uh, you know, i guess to mean victor rather i don't <laughs> yeah he's over here dying it's a twin thing be back in a flash she steal his money? Okay. She did not. She did not. Oh. Come on, let's let's keep let's keep going. Oh. 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 Joey. She gone, sir. Yeah. Yeah. God damn. She turned a corner and started sprinting. Um, I didn't. I am. Jesus. <laughs> Those tail lights, they were the worst. The hat again? I guess that's why I started using them in the first place. You know, I have to keep those things away. I guess I'll, I'll never know how it felt for them to be done like that. Well, I hope I never know. Oh, Jesus. Someone special who's always had my back. Thank you. Oh. Oh. That's a horrific watch. Motherfucker. Fucking Steve Ed. Jesus. Come home, my love. Oh my god, what? Hell. It was suicide. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. I love that. Motherfucker. All right. That was episode four of The Haunting of Hill House. Way to begin. First things first. That was a really good episode. Probably my favorite of the season, I would say. I like Luke. I think Luke's my favorite so far, to be honest with you. Um, I would have said it was... Uh, Joey, but yeah. Um, I do want to clarify my feelings on Paula. That's her name, right? The 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 counselor. The way she reacted to Joey and uh, Luke <laughs> after their leaving situation to me is harsh, but it probably falls on the right side of fair. If I was to think hard about it. But I'm still annoyed, and probably will never stop being annoyed, and her response to Joey leaving by herself. Your response to that is to give me a fucking um, sassy-ass lecture while pretending like you're not? I, I'm sorry. I'm not over. That's not cool. That's not, that's not, I don't care. You're not going to convince me otherwise. I'm just letting you know. I don't like it, and I'm not with it. Uh, and I think I might owe Luke, <laughs> not Luke, um, Steve, uh, an apology too, because, uh, 
Yeah. Well, he was absolutely rough on the two of them at the uh, at his place when they got the day pass. I, I am forgetting, you know, how many times he's probably been through this with just Luke. It's a lot. Yeah. And you clearly tell he's not in a good mood already. Like, <laughs> nothing to do with Luke. We're just not in a good space right now. That was a good episode. I the mom wearing a hat was a hell of a surprise. Uh, the twin thing. I liked how that worked out. I love how I'm not. I'm still not quite sure if there's actual scary stuff going on or this is all. It was loud. Or this is all in their heads. The dad run episode one's only one of that makes me think for sure that this is actual horror shit. So she didn't kill herself, then she was murdered. Unless it was an accident, but there's only really two options. Kill yourself, murder. Anyway, um, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Fuck me. I'm sorry I haven't said anything. Just... Keeping it together. The fuck. Um, and so. Oh, is this a fucking? You've um... Never sought treatment or done any other sleep study. Uh, husband. He just told me to avoid TV before bedtime. <laughs> Are you asking me if I want to get coffee? Uh, I was going to say it's uh, it's for the health history section in your file. Oh. (laughs) Since you brought it up. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Okay. She's really sweet. She wasn't fucking dead. (laughs) I wonder why they're all looking at her. That's dope. That has got to be scary as fuck. Happier times. Oh, poor dad. I wouldn't get my hopes too high. I mean, who knows if he'll be in any condition to. Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit. What? What is going on? Is she dead? Dead as hell. He was dead. He was dead and she was back. How long had it been since you'd seen her, I mean? I'm not explain how he died. I said the monster killed him. But then he came into my life and she went away. And then she killed him. Oh, we've talked about this before. Arthur died of an aneurysm. Gotcha. Don't worry, Dr. Montague. I don't expect you to believe me. <sighs> what the fuck? That came out of nowhere. I mean, I knew something happened because Nell was like, uh, I don't want to say depressed or whatever. When we first entered the show, but like, she's clearly not well. Insist on your cup of stars. Once they've trapped you into being like everyone else, you'll never see your cup of stars again. Mm. Ours. Please, oh please, oh please. No. Come with me right now. What happened? We have a very... You know what? You can help her clean up, Theo. And I expect it to be done before I get back. I'm proud of you. Doesn't matter where you do it. Not because you want to change. It's always gonna make me proud of you. Oh, that was awesome. Man, dead, but awesome. Yeah. See, um, okay, so here it is. Oh, Jesus. 
Mm. You have to kind of get it out of your system, you know, and, 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 and get well one last time. Jesus. It's it just really helpful. Oh. He's just not going to sell to me. But um, he doesn't know you. This is so fucked. It's you want me to buy you heroin? It's... Mm -hmm. oh, don't say it, like, And then drop you off at rehab. It's... <laughs> Look, I can bullshit Steve and Cheryl and Theo if I got it, but but not not you, Nelly. Never. Oh, this feels gross. One last time, just, just push me through the gates, and then and then that's it. That's it. You believe me, right? I wonder if he thinks he means it. Believe me now. Is this the last time? It might be. It might. It might be all right after this. Now I think about it. I'll be right back. I hope so. What the fuck? Aww. He just spit that out of his mouth. Yeah, that's what they do. Oh, poor now. I can't wait. All right, we gotta go to rehab after this. Never mind. You're still collecting those buttons? Fuck me. Day four, I started to feel better. Now I haven't had any phantom pains or anything like that. Jesus. Could you just... You said you would. Please, you know I don't like you. You said you would. What? I'm so curious. That's where he died. Nellie, I don't want to... You said you... Hey, hey! Jesus! Nellie! And I know that, and I'm sorry, but you can't... You can't live like this. Jesus, when was the last time you cleaned? On the way in. Does Shirley know what he made you do? <laughs> she might not let you freeload anymore. No. Jesus! I've You've never cared about anyone more than yourself. And that's sad. Shh. Not from Shirley's fucking guest house. Mmm. Oh, not quite the same as my heroine, but I get your point. Oh, that hurt. I hurt more than any fucking ghost. And you tell me I'm crazy, and that mom was crazy, and Luke's crazy, and we're all just nuts. And then you tell our stories. <sighs> Have you read what you wrote about You've us? You've had six years to file a complaint. Why the hell are you doing this now? Are you off your meds? No. Let's say, look at the face. Uh, he's right I there. I confronted my brother. You certainly you did. told me too. I'm not so sure. I'm going to ask you something, and I need you to be honest with me. Yes, I'm taking my meds. Clearly. And ever. You're certain you're taking your medication? How can she be certain? Just call her a liar. You've never been there. Well, that's true. But see, neither of you, not for a long, long time. Oh, my God. Is that why she went back? Oh, motherfucker. Graffiti and dirt. I... What would Arthur say to you if, if he could talk to you right now? Oh, I think he'd want for the rest of your life. Oh, Doc, I'm so with you, but I'm so not with you at the same time for obvious reasons. Oh, oh, couple stars. Ooh. Oh, we've been here. Gotcha. Abigail and mommy. How the red room's locked. That wasn't mommy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell? Did you find mommy? Oh, look, I was close. I was waiting for you. I didn't know if you'd come back. Oh, we know it turns out. <laughs> it gets cleared up pretty quickly, at least. You hold on to this, and I'll try to, uh, I'll try to be back here as soon as I can. Okay? Okay, Daddy. This is sad. I don't really enjoy the flashbacks at all. Well, I enjoy getting information. It just makes me sad. I feel so bad for this guy. <laughs> I just do. He lost his wife. Can't explain how to his kids. His kids thinking shit. Your dad. 
sorry. Oh! Uh, so... I didn't even piece it together. It's happened so many times. Fantastic. <laughs> Fuck. Me. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> uh, who is this? I forgot. Oh, dead? It's Steve. Sorry oh. I missed your call. <laughs> that was pretty sound design. What the fuck? How long was she sitting there? There's nothing wrong with going tonight. What? Just carcass in the woods. Oh, Doc. Unless she lies to somebody and says that she's at home or something. She's distinctly not. Okay, now I'll see you. I'll see you there tomorrow. Okay. Oh. I love you, Daddy. Are you okay? Not okay. Oh! Uh, I don't want to see this. I really wonder what happens. We know she dies. She actually get killed? Will I even know if she gets killed? I'm, I'm not... Everything on the show can be explained by these people who are deeply disturbed. Except maybe the, the the open with the dad running. The inciting incident. And the mom was disturbed. She might have lost her fucking mind. Or maybe this shit is haunted. I'm like Steve. I'm just putting up this. <laughs> None of this is real. They're all out of their minds. Nelly, your mom's looking for you. Mom? Shirley, where's your mother? Come on. She's over here. Oh! What? Welcome home. Not come home. I know. We know. What the fuck? I know you didn't, sweetie. <sighs> we always knew. We always believed you. It's like wish fulfillment. Everybody believes her. Everybody's pleased. I don't like this. This feels awful. And not in a horror kind of way. It feels more gross than that. You're expected. in New York. Died happy. Oh. What the? Come along. We're going to have a tea party. Oh. Well, they said they were having tea with Abigail and Mommy. Nelly. What? Oh! <laughs> smile. The silence. Oh, this is heinous. Woo! <laughs> oh! Sweetheart. What? What is even kind of going on? She's the bent neck lady? What is going on? Why? Why am I being put through this? So nothing would be good to you people. This is what I get. All right, that was episode five of season one of The Haunting of Hill House. Where to begin? Uh, that was a really good episode. Four and five of my favorites, both of these. Um, uh, all right, you know what? I've come around. I'm going to stop. There's just that little itty bitty doubt in the back of my mind that I would imagine is intentional on the show's part. Um, that whenever we see anything super creepy or... Um, Beyonds of the beyonds beyond the realm of um, I don't want to call it natural. There we get the point. Spooky ghost shit. Anytime we see that, um, it's with a person under extreme distress or drugs or not on their meds or not all there. Um, I just, I keep holding on to this thing that maybe it's not mystical. Maybe these people are just not well. 
for lack of a better word. Um, but I'm giving up on that. I'm giving up on that. I mean, Steve sees Nell in the first episode. That episode one? Pretty sure that's episode one. Could be two. I'm going for one. Um, yeah, because that's his episode. That's Steve's episode. So at the end. So yeah, I'm going to assume this is all spooky shit. This house is just fucking evil. Like if this house was a person, this house is scumbag of the highest order. Like why? Why are you putting it through all this? Um, what was I going to say? That bent neck lady reveal at the end that it's actually Nell is wild. And really well done. Um, does it feel kind of cheap? I'm not sure if cheap is the right word. That's strong. I already see you guys angrily typing in the comments. I'm not saying cheap as in a simple ploy. It's set up relatively well and it pays off really uh, coolly. But um, it... I just want to see how it affects the narrative before I, have a, before I have a full opinion on it. That was really cool. That was really cool. I gotta be honest, I like quite a few of the human interactions here. Namely, Nell telling people off. <laughs> Nell yelling at Steve. Her getting at Theo's ass too. Uh, who else got it? Nobody else really got it. I like the sessions with the doc, who is doing his best... And I've never heard somebody call somebody else a liar uh, so many times without using the word liar. He says it like three times in this episode where he says you're not taking your meds. He might as well just say that, but he doesn't. I'm not going to say he's responsible for death. Uh, I'm suggesting she go to his fucking house. But um, he didn't help. He tried his best. So you can, I'm not blaming you, Doc. You did what you could. Um... Yeah, I, I I don't know if I want to watch anymore. <laughs> it's just, just, it's always, like, depressing. Like, I gotta be honest, Nell's probably my favorite of the siblings so far. I would go Nell, then either Luke or Theo. Probably Theo. She did save that kid. Uh, then Luke. Steve's at the bottom. There's no doubt about that. That's, that's done it, Dustin. Steve's the worst. Um, I don't understandably. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Uh, I mean, six should become relatively shortly after this. We shall see. Post in your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Look like they're sleeping. She doesn't look like she's sleeping. She looks dead. It's There's a stupid amount of food. It keeps showing up. Hope they didn't eat dinner. That one? He's not slowing down. Still one shot. You guys relax. Be fair to him. Please, Luke, don't fuck this up. She's also wishing out loud. It's pretty bad out there. It's just a little rain. Nice sure. This is so awkward. I think he's like actually clean real wild. So what was it, the jailbreak? Long story. Do you believe him? We can wait. <laughs> yeah, there's no rush. I... <sighs> it's okay. Cool. Aww. I just think it's not unusual for people in a relationship as long as us. Don't care. It's... Get me a drink. <sighs> Thank Christ. Aww. They all come together? I doubt it. We got mad episodes to go. It's not as bad as it is in your head, but... She doesn't look like she's sleeping, so forget right. that. Right. Positive ID. That, that's, that's Nelly, all right, and she's dead. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, I'll be right there. <sighs> the fuck? Six hours on a plane. Didn't come up. Our dad was in coach. Wait, you put yourself in first class? <laughs> <place? laughs> I got him there, too. Uh, and they wanted to <laughs> that's just pay for his own ticket. So, yeah, he was in coach. Mm -hmm. uh, Listen, it's not like we were... Sorry, I'm a little late. That's wow, okay. that's fantastic. Can I get you anything? Um, 
has got tons to eat, plenty to drink. This is Kevin's coping mechanism. He turns into a waiter. <laughs> I'm just sorry that we have to be here. That's not good at this at all. Under. Steve's an ass. We're coming around on Steve. Oh, I'll do that. Jesus. Is the. I could use a bathroom or would Just head up that hall to okay. your left at, your, at the end. Okay. Oh, surely getting emotional has got me emotional. Oh, this poor bastard. I feel so bad for this guy. I always have, the whole series. It's still one shot, huh? Uh, I'm not mad at it. Oh, poor little tank tank. There we go. And we got a cut. You do. Mm -hmm. Since I was a little girl, just like you. But you know what storms do? Do they pass? They pass. Walk us in by fucking sleepwalking. Explains why my room is freezing. And the ice balls fall back down to earth, and they pick up more water, and they get bigger and bigger. Oh Jesus! Bring your granny. Bring your granny. Okay. Kevin. Here, listen to me, my love. A bad storm. This wasn't forecast. This is nuts. <sighs> Stuff all wet, Cheryl. This very much feels like a, uh, a play, the way it's uh, blocked. When I was a kid, we used to go camping all the time. I was a life scout. What's a life scout? Well, that's a group of uh, nerds. I'm kidding, mostly. Where's your sister? Theo? What the fuck? I think she went for the halls. No, Don't worry, my man. She's gonna be okay. How do you know? Don't you have to keep an eye on everybody? That word. Puffalo. That's it. Puffalo. Padded, puffy envelope. <laughs> to discourage that instinct, your mom would say, oh, no, we water that seed. To that's her tree. Jesus. Bloody poor bastard. Oh. <sighs> this one time, uh, Aunt Janet, she, uh, we going back she to the summer? camp out in, in the backyard. And this extent is magic. It makes us indivisible. Duh. Now he shouts at the bear. I meant what I said, bear. <laughs> oh. You want to do, do this now, huh? Yeah, I do. We've all got questions. I think it'd be swell if you give us a few answers for a change. There we go. All right. Arthur, I yeah, know that. That's right. Now. Anybody know anything about this doctor? Any psychiatrist worse their shit would have kept her on a much shorter leash. She's a fucking quack. Oh, she was clearly. Jesus. She said the bent neck lady was back. There it is. He's in title. He said, what? What? What is that? What? What's that? I said you're entitled. Check yourself before you start talking about the truth, Steve. You goddamn right. Theo's drunk. I'm just pissed. And this is the part of. <laughs> Theo's like, huh? That's why none of us ever took your Surely. fucking money, Steve. Cut it out. And you're fucking drunk. Oh! Supposed to be honoring Nelly. Oh! Real class act, Theo. God damn! Seriously? Tate, how we all grieve our dead. <laughs> Fuck! Whoa. Okay. I'm, I'm fine. Oh my God! Don't touch me! I don't need yours too. Whatever that means. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, you knew this was coming. I just didn't know when. I was kind of hoping we could go without the. The book was a hit. The royalties still haven't dried up. I am fucking glad that I took it. Uh-oh. You'd have to be a real stubborn bitch not to, so congratulations. <laughs> You're drunk. Nope. Yup, but I'm right. <laughs> nope, yup is great. Well, I guess bitch. you won't have a problem paying for a place of your own, will you? Oh! Blood money! You're out, Theo. Are you gonna stop this? <laughs> well, after what the am funeral, I? you can- Come on, Kev. I'm embarrassing myself? We took the money, too. Oh shit! I took the money, I guess. <laughs> if you think about it, if you think about it, we took that money <laughs> and changed it into something that helped people on the worst day of their lives. Oh, you poor fucking. Do you have any idea how much you've humiliated me? Well, it's family. Is this, we're, we're done here. Everybody out. Do I really have to move out? <laughs> Is this. What is this? Is, 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 you, you think this is 
This is cute. What the hell? You were well, why standing would I do something here. What the hell? Oh my god. Don't leave dad alone. What the fuck's Luke? <laughs> fuck me. No. Who's he talking to, by the way? The mom? When he ever starts, like, whispering to the side. Get to this roof. I'll get Mullen over tomorrow, look. Oh, <sighs> Jesus. Come on. Fuck. Where did you go? Don't do this to me. Uh oh. My God. Liv, how the hell did you? Sir, put some pep in your step. This half ass walking you're doing. Get away from the window. What? Jesus Christ. Bedroom. Honey. I'm having the strangest dream. Oh my God. Where'd you go? No. Nice transition. Who do you think did this? None of us. You uh, probably know that already, don't you? I love that. It's always my been problem. your problem no, is you think problem. you know what my happened problem. that night. My you problem don't have a is that the wrong parent died. <laughs> oh, shh. What? Double what? What? I was right here and I was screaming and shouting and none of you could see me. Why couldn't you see me? I was right here oh. the whole time. None of you could see me. All right, that was episode six of The Haunting of Hill House, Where to Begin. Great episode. Going great? Real great. I uh, rather tense. Not just in the, the spooky nature of it, but in the family drama, which peaked here for me. The relationship with the dad has always been kind of hinted at. We know that there is a schism, if not outright beef. And it came to a head here. Dad also not doing great. Speaking to, I'm going to assume the mom. I can't imagine who else he would be speaking to. Um, that was great. Better than five? Yeah, better than five. That was a great episode. That was great. Four, five, and six to me, all really good. Definitely a, a significant elevation for the first three. I, uh, I don't want to say this. I want to say this. I want to say this as concisely as I can. I have the faintest idea how the, the, the um, mystical things in this TV show work. Uh, for instance, Nell being here but not here. It's a great like metaphor for um, the, I don't know, it's not a funeral scene, but the present day that we had in this episode. Where everybody's arguing and she can't get their attention. Well, she does. I assume she pushed the coffin over. I assume everything weird that happens during the episode <laughs> is a product of Nell. Um, yeah, I couldn't tell you how that would work in the past, why she disappeared, what happened, what's going on with the mom. Because that's some mystical shit. As much as I keep, I want to go back. I'm like Steve. I want to go to a rational explanation that quite a few of these people are mentally ill. Mom, Nell, we know she's not right in the head. Uh, Dad isn't doing great. I wanted to hang on to that. But at a certain point, I'm watching motherfuckers disappear and end up someplace else. Nell outright disappears. 
What is going on? Magic. Spooky shit. Oh, that was great. That argument with Theo, uh, Shirley, and Kevin. <laughs> Poor Kevin. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. And Steve might have been the highlight for me. It's either that or Steven's dad. I want his dad to knock him the fuck out. I really did. That's not dad's way. It's his kid. I get it. And he thinks he should feel the way he feels. I understand. But, um, yeah. Those two are great. I don't know what was going on with um, Kevin and Theo in the closet, I suppose that is. She had her gloves off. I know that much. Uh, I, 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 what? I went back and rewatched it. Uh, that scene, that is. She had her gloves off. He appeared to be comforting her. And Theo appeared to be, like, recovering from a thought she had. I don't think anything happened. But I'm surely I can't be... I can't be too sure. I can't, I can't be mad at her. Who's that guy? Who's the guy that Shirley sees right after that? We've seen him before, I think. I think he was sitting on the couch. Hmm. He's having a drink? Please, help yourself, motherfucker. But I don't know what's going on. I'm here for it. This show's picked up big time for me. I will now say it is worthy of the hype that you all lavished upon it. What? Lavished upon it. And I was very confused by it for the first few episodes. Anyway, we picked it up. That's all that matters. That's all that matters is that we get to our destination in the end. Post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.